Hello, I'm Diane Dobson Barton, and welcome to my channel. I've got a canvas here that's toned with uh, a mid-tone range value. And then over here, I've got my palette. I've got my white, yellow ochre, burnt sienna, ultramarine blue, and a little bit of uh, lizard crimson. And this is what I'm gonna be using, at least to get started. I've got a reference photo here. Let's see what we can do here. First, I'm gonna start just like usual with big shapes and then go down to smaller shapes. I'm mainly gonna be working on value at first and then I'll start tweaking the colors a little bit. Um, if you have any questions or anything, just put them down in the comments and I will get to them as quickly as I can. All right, I'm like, whoo! It's sticking to my glove there. My brushes, by the way, I've got this Rosemary & Co. Um, it's a two, I think it was a Filbert originally, but it's, it's looking pretty rough. But then I went and got, I think that's an aught. Yeah, it's a zero round and a two flat. So those are my three brushes. This one I'll start with because this one I don't worry about scrubbing on the canvas and wearing down the bristles. And I don't want to do that on the, I don't want to do that with the, the other brushes since they're not as worn. Let's see, that's pretty. It's getting, it's getting there. It's getting there. It's still got some use. So I'm gonna go ahead and start here. And I take just a little bit of, I have poppy seed oil there and mineral spirits. I've combined the ultramarine blue and the burnt sienna to get a dark, dark color. It's, well, you won't be able to see it against my glass. Well, that won't work either because my scratches. But you can see how dark it is compared to my skin. And I'm so pale that I'm practically translucent. So I'm going to start just kind of working on location of his face on here. And I could thin it, the paint down like I just did with the mineral spirits and just get like a wash. Because right now all I'm dealing with are the lights and the darks. And I'll make, that looks like he has a double chin, which I will rectify here with the white. Thin white here. Whoop. I'm just trying to get that profile right by his chin. He's closer. His forehead up here. He has more of an olive tone skinned skin also. So I'll need some of that yellow ochre and maybe a little little bit of a green for the shadows. You see that dark um, muddy color that the Ultramarine, blue, and burnt sienna do together. I've also got a rag here that I'm just swiping the paint off of. It's got a very round, 
space right there. I'm going to switch over to a thinner brush, uh, that round that I've got, just to start chiseling in some of the features because they're, I, I can kind of feel them there, but if you hear a dog in the background, it's just my, just Poncho. Jack Russell and all that. He thinks he's tough. I like this reference photo of him because it, it looks more like it's in natural light than many of the others I've seen. And I hope that bluish gray that I mixed doesn't keep it from um, getting some flesh tones in here, okay? Whoops, I didn't mean to even dip it into dark. See, I've got this up here way too high. some white and bring that down he's got some hair kind of loose right here one thing I do that a lot of people do to help get if you're working on something that's realistic or you at least want it to be recognizable is to turn the photo around and the reference at the same time. And then you can just, it gives you a different viewpoint. I like to do that while I'm working and, and get a get a better sense of what I'm working with. I think I'm losing some light here too. So I'm going to add a little, is that too much shadow? No. Okay, get back at it here. Right off, I see that's not. And this is with the one that I said I was going to scrub, scrub the surface with. always have this fear around the eyes that I'm going to get one lower than the other. Get one too low. Let me get some of my rags here. I think what I'm going to do is start working on the on the eyes upside down and if I want my paint to flow better but I don't want it thinner I'll use the poppy seed oil it also will extend the drying time of the oil paint which usually isn't an issue but And what I'm doing is just sort of drawing in drawing in what I need. Just 
at those eyebrows. Can't really tell what color his eyes are, but I'm, they look sort of bluish. This right here is definitely lighter. Turn it. Yeah, I can I can see them off on certain areas, which is good. That's what I want to be want to be looking at right now. Want to find those obvious. This right here needs to be a softer edge, not so harsh. And I'm drawing that line there, but I'm going to thin it. Um, I'm not going to make it so stark on his eyelids there. I just want to make sure I get that. Oops. another turn. I don't have, I don't have that line right. I don't have a lot of lines right. Okay, I'm going to switch. Switch to the better, number two. Ivory long flat. So I'm be able to mix that a little bit on the surface. A lot of this is just chiseling out what you need, taking away what you don't. Took away too much of his eyebrow there. Well, it's easy enough to put back. That's the thing, it's just paint. I think it's getting it's getting likeness. I think we'd be safe to go ahead and start adding a little bit of color. I'm going to get some, it's just a medium flesh tone. It's kind of a ruddy, ruddy pinkish. And I'm going to try and do as much as I can with this paintbrush. And not switch out. You can get a fairly thin line with this by using the side and being a little gentle with it. This area around his mouth where he has very thin lips. And for underneath the chin there, I'm going to go, I'm going to go darker flesh tones. There's a highlight kind of in here. I need to make sure and get. I go ahead and do the turn. We've been recording for 35 minutes right now. Oh, <laughs> I went to wipe it off in my hand, but I didn't have a didn't have paper towel. You can tell here he had wears glasses. 
I had glasses on before this photo was taken. See the little indentions right by you guys. I'm trying to mix up a really fair skinned tone here to use for his forehead. It's got a light shining on it. I can see that that this right here doesn't belong there. You get a really nice fine line <clears throat> with a flat brush if you want to. This doesn't seem like I took this up far enough. I want to work on his ear a little bit. So I'm going to get that Go ahead and get that finer brush. Ears tend to be where there's a lot of red. They're very vascular. I'm going to dab into the lizard and crimson just a little bit. His hair goes over part of his ear also. Maybe I need, yeah, I need burnt sienna more than. There we go. That's better. It's a much better reddish shadow color. what I had. And that line right there comes off his ear. Did I get his ear too close? His ear may seem insignificant, but it's part of it's part of his uh, his uh, appearance. It's part of it's part of how he was seen. It all plays together, all the little parts. Makeup come together for the big parts. His nose is very interesting to me. It's not, I thought it came down a lot more. I know this, the photo reference that I'm using is um, shot from below. I don't know, I guess I thought it had more of a hook on it. I've gotten his chin wrong. His chin is too big. I'm shooting this in 2023, and I believe he died in 2014. If from, from what I saw from getting the photo reference, 
Well, he had some long lashes. Yeah, I know that was too much red there on his eyes. I'll fix it. I'll fix it on the next. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. I appreciate it more than I can say. And if you haven't already, thanks for being here. That's just that's just what I'm trying to say is thanks for being here. And I'll, I hopefully I'll see you soon. Bye bye.